Have you ever read a book where the author wrote about something you thought had only happened to you? Or have you ever read a book about something you never could have imagined on your own? In this video, we're going to talk about how books can be mirrors and windows. This is a really cool idea created by someone named Dr. Rudine Sims Bishop, who came up with this way of thinking about books in 1991. This doesn't mean that we'll be learning a magic trick that will change a book into something else. Just like we use our imaginations to visit people we've never met and places we've never been, we can use real things that exist in the world to help us understand something that only exists in our minds. In real life, mirrors and windows aren't all that different. A mirror is a piece of glass with silver on one side. When you look in a mirror, it shows you your own face. I see beige skin, brown hair, and eyes that are sometimes blue and sometimes green when I look in a mirror. What do you see when you look in the mirror? If you want to, you can pause the video to take a look at yourself and think about what you see. Books can be like mirrors too. This doesn't always mean that the star of the story looks exactly like you. There are things about you that can't be seen when you look in a mirror, like how many siblings you have, where your grandparents were born, and what you like to do for fun. When you read a book about someone who is like you, it can help you understand yourself better. If your little sister likes to borrow your stuff without asking, reading a book where that happens to the person in the story can give you words to describe how angry this makes you feel or give you ideas for getting her to stop. Just like books can be like mirrors, books can be like windows. A mirror shows you your reflection because the glass is covered on one side by something shiny. A window is different because it's a piece of glass with nothing covering it. Instead of seeing a reflection of yourself, you can see through the glass to whatever is on the other side. When you read a book about someone who is different from you, it's like looking through a window and seeing the world through someone else's eyes. Using your imagination, you can explore what it might be like to grow up in a different family, a different city or country, or to be good at something that's hard for you in real life. This can help you understand the feelings of other people in your classroom and community. The best mirror and window books are written by someone who's inspired by their own life. While imagining what it would be like to be someone else is fun and useful, the story is coming from your mind and not real life. This kind of book is called an own voices story. Reading books that are like windows especially own voices books, helps you build a skill called empathy. Empathy means being able to understand someone else's feelings. When you have empathy for another person, you're able to answer the question, how do they feel? Most of the time, a book isn't just a mirror or just a window. It's a little bit of both at the same time, like a mosaic made from pieces of reflective mirror and clear glass. Some things are different, some things are the same. When we pay attention to the differences, we learn to appreciate what makes every person unique. When many people with different strengths come together, the group is strong because everyone has something important to contribute. When we pay attention to the things that make us the same, we learn to see people who are different from us as members of a shared team. And if someone on our team is in trouble, we want to step in and help them out. So, how do we use mirror books and window books to get better at empathy? We practice by listening to, reading, and talking about books with people from many different backgrounds. Here are some questions to ask yourself when you read a new book. How is the person in this story different from me? How is this difference a strength? 
How is the person in this story the same as me? How did this story help me understand how someone else might feel? How can I use what I learned in this story to stand up for others? No two people are the same, which means no two stories are the same. When you read lots of different books about all kinds of people, you get better at understanding yourself, understanding others, and making changes to create a welcoming world. Written and performed by Barrett Miller. Script edited by Heidi Blackwell. Based on information found in mirrors, windows, and sliding glass doors by Dr. Rudine Sims Bishop and Jerks with Homes by Ryan Dowd. Produced by the Oregon City Public Library in partnership with the Oregon City School District and No Place for Hate.